Hey folks, SMK Gaming here. With expected news about Battlefield 2042 having cross-play like many REA titles, players have been airing their views about why they hope they're actually able to turn it off. Console users don't want to be in lobbies with PC players who can be more accurate with mouse and keyboard. Then there is a huge hacker issue on PC also. PC players themselves have also many concerns and don't want to be in lobbies with console players due to them having aim assist, which they perceive as a form of aimbot. But what caught my attention was PC players concerns that the controller users, in addition to having aim assist, they also have this 25% less recoil compared to PC players. Where does this come from? I had honestly never heard about this until a few months ago. Well on Simsic.gg, a website that gives all the weapon stats, it gives us details on some multipliers that controller users apparently benefit from, or used to benefit from. Whether it is still in the game is unclear. Here are those multipliers. When using a controller, a player's weapon will receive the following. 0.5 initial vertical recoil. What this means is 50% less initial vertical recoil. Times 1 would be the same, and something like times 1.25 would be 25% greater. This one we talk about in the second part of the video. The second multiplier is 0.75 recoil pattern yaw, and this is the 25% less recoil they're talking about. But that is a very simplistic term to use in regards to this. It doesn't mean that PC players weapon recoils up or to the left or right an additional 25%. The additional 25% is basically additional variation on where a bullet might land. More randomness. In the video linked above, I go into this in more detail, talking about how this random recoil works in Battlefield 5. Go to the chapter starting around 9 minutes for this in detail. In this video, I set out to determine if these two multipliers are still in the game by testing it on PC with mouse and keyboard, as well as controller on PC. And then of course, also on console with controller also. They never mention console specifically when talking about these multipliers, only controller, so it could well only be a feature benefited by controller users on PC and not console users. Before we get started, let me clear up some terminology I will be using. When I mention testing variants, I am referring to either mouse and keyboard on PC, controller on console, and or controller on PC. The testing parameters were as follows. The weapons I used were the Sturmgewehr and the Suyomi. Neither had specializations on them, and I would try my best to be the same distance from the wall or target each time, and I used markers to ensure this. The field of view on all platforms was 90 horizontal. First, I wanted to see if the vertical recoil was different between the variants. Was it greater on one platform compared to the other? And we did this at the test range. Well, no it wasn't. As you can see from this image, they're completely identical. And to show you that field of view wasn't a factor here and was the same, here are additional markers indicating points that are all in the same place. If the field of view was different, then these would not line up. The fence low seems to be higher up on the screen on Xbox for some reason, but that's just how it seems to be placed on that platform. I then moved on to test this 25% multiplier within the observed recoil patterns. My initial trials were against a metal door in Operation Underground. I had to move on from this later on for reasons I will explain soon. But I dropped down onto the rail track, backed myself against the inside of the platform to be the same distance from the door each time. I then started firing against the door, starting at the same point with all eight magazines, each consisting of 20 rounds. All were fired on top of the previous ones to show the overall recoil pattern. I got some weird and unexpected results here. Here are the six recoil patterns that I've divided into what I have termed good, favourable recoil patterns and bad, unfavourable recoil patterns for each tested variant. As you can see, they greatly vary between the good and bad patterns. Look at the good patterns for each. They have nice tight spread. These rounds would have felt nice and predictable. But the bad patterns on the other hand have far more variation and outliers. Surprisingly, the controller on PC and controller on console patterns look worse than the mouse and keyboard ones. This just goes to show the huge variation we can get in these patterns. To fuller illustrate this, I was made aware of another creator who did something similar. Here are his patterns with mouse and keyboard and controller on PC when using the ZK. There are 10 patterns overlaid here. Their testing showed greater variation with mouse and keyboard on PC when compared to controller on PC. The opposite to mine. Seeing results like this has been very useful. I was actually going to end my own testing here 
with these Operation Underground trials before I seen these results from another creator. But now, I cannot. Not after seeing this. So, what is the issue here and why the difference between their results and mine? Was it because we used different weapons? Was it because they performed fewer trials than me? This is something we need to establish to have accurate results. I suspect that the natural variation that we can get in these recoil patterns can be so great at times that we therefore need a larger sample size. Too few trials and we can get results that make any of the variants look worse or better. Basically, too few trials and it's more based on luck. Performing more trials will better show off any differences if there are any at all. We're moving on to the Mercury map now as I need a larger space to shoot against. This time, instead of shooting each pattern on top of the others, all patterns will be shot separately and spaced out. Each bullet will be marked with a coloured dot. There will be 48 patterns for each tested variant, so 144 recoil patterns in total. Yes, I marked up with dots 144 patterns. It took so long to do this. You better like this video folks. There's been a lot of effort put into it. So you may be asking, why the heck do this? Well, this method gives me a lot of freedom. Let me explain my reasoning. Firstly, it allows me to overlay them on top of each other, showing all 48 patterns for each, as well as allowing me to break them down into smaller patterns or even look at them individually. Particularly useful if a recoil pattern sticks out as an outlier that goes against the trend of the rest. As I said, it gives me the most freedom, but unfortunately took the longest to do. It also means that what we see here in this video is very likely to be the truth and it makes the results very hard to question. Now, before we get on to these results, I have not colour coded each tested variant the same colour for a reason. Colour can greatly change our perception of size and scale. Say I was to colour code all the mouse and keyboard patterns green and controller and console ones red. Green can be perceived as a more friendly, positive colour and if results show very little difference, you may be drawn to that colour. So what I did was use eight different colours and marked the first pattern pink, second one orange, third one blue, etc. for all eight within a magazine, regardless of what was being tested. What I ended up with was this. Here are the 12 patterns, four for each variant. The makeup of each pattern is as follows. Each pattern is made up of 160 bullets. These 160 bullets came from 8 instances where I fired 20 rounds against a wall. This is the default starting ammo for the Xiaomi. 8 magazines is consistent of 20 rounds which make up the 160 bullets. So each recoil pattern shown here is made up of 8 individual patterns all of which have different colours. When choosing which 8 to use it was simple. I used the first 8 that I fired, they went into pattern 1, the next 8 went into pattern 2 and so on. So the first 32 of the 48 patterns from each variant are shown here within four patterns. 16 recoil patterns are missing from each. I could have put in two more patterns of eight to give six patterns of each variant, but there is a reason for not doing this and I will explain this later. Now let's look at these patterns. What stands out for you? For me, the controller on console patterns look to have the same weird random patterns once again, particularly in the second and third shown here. The controller on PC and mouse and keyboard patterns do have instances where bullets land outside the other patterns, but nowhere near as much. I will be referring to these patterns as outliers from this point forward. In addition to these outlier patterns, the controller on console patterns seem to have more variation also. Have a look at these two mouse and keyboard patterns. Now compare them to any of the controller ones. Not one of these four console patterns have as little spread as the two mouse and keyboard patterns. The third console one would have if it wasn't for this blue outlier pattern. We now have a situation where the initial trials on Operation Underground and now the second set of Mercury are showing controller on console having worse outlier patterns and spread compared to the PC variants, particularly the mouse and keyboard on PC ones. My findings are making it appear that it is the mouse and keyboard on PC that is the one that has this recoil multiplier to reduce recoil. Strange, I know, but could this really be the case? Is the variation we are seeing in these recoil patterns by design and intended to be higher on console? No, I do not believe so. Something else is causing this, and I once again believe it to be down to the randomness of the recoil in this game, but there's also something else at play. 
What we are seeing simply cannot be true. Once again, more testing is needed. With the way I've done the second set of tests, we can now break down things a bit more, and that is why I put in the extra effort into doing it this way, just in case it was needed, and it is. We are now going to look at four patterns for each tested variant once again. As before, all four will be made up of eight patterns overlaid on top of each other, but this time I am going to randomise them. It will no longer be in the order in which they were shot. I assign each pattern a number and randomise them using an online tool. The first eight go into pattern one, next eight into pattern two, and so on for each test variant. So, you could end up with say, recoil pattern 28, 47, 7, 9, 2, 24, 37, and 12 in pattern one, instead of pattern one to eight that we had previously. Additionally, all 48 patterns I have recorded for each test variant will be available this time, not just the 32 we had before. So, some of the 16 patterns we haven't seen yet may yet appear, and some of them that already have will not. Here are these new randomised patterns. They are not in the correct order in which they were done. I have deliberately put them underneath the previous patterns I feel they are similar to, to easily compare. What do you think? I feel they do make a pretty big difference. This look and compare the controller and console ones first. Overall, I think the new patterns have improved. Remember, the previous ones were really, really bad, and they've improved as in has less spread and follow a clearer trend. It looks like they have less outliers and a more predictable shape. Look at the really awful one we had before. This one here looks to be similar, but has much less spread. What about this one? Once again, same kind of shape, the top pattern is slightly less spread at the start, but the randomised pattern doesn't have the outlier pattern that goes against the trend of the other seven patterns within it. The two at either end are very similar, but I think that they are still slight improvements also. Moving on to the controller on PC now, we have a mixed bag here. Some look very similar as these two do, some look better, but only just. Here we have tighter spread at the bottom with the new pattern, and when it does increase at the top, it is not as varied as the one above. Some patterns look worse. Here the spread in the new pattern looks worse from top to bottom. The biggest changes come in the randomised mouse and keyboard patterns. The previous patterns looked the best and tighter in prior tests. Now they look much closer to what we get in the other variants. All four patterns have now increased in spread compared to what you see in the patterns above. In fact, two of these new random mouse and keyboard patterns are two of the worst out of all of the randomised patterns. So why have things changed then? Why has it shifted from previously showing controller on console being the worst to now showing mouse and keyboard on PC being the worst? What does this scenario tell us and can we draw any conclusions from this? Well once again it perfectly highlights why I had to perform multiple trials as I previously mentioned. But not only that, increasing the sample size certainly played a part but so also did my methods of analysis. Remember when I said there was something else at play here and there was a reason why we were getting different results between my trials and the other creators trials? Well, I've shown here in my latest findings that by analysing a set of results in different ways can result in completely different findings to the ones prior to it. Remember, you draw your conclusions from your findings. To ensure accuracy, your methodology must be sound. If I only test in one specific way, I'm leaving my results to chance and completely random. So based on the latest set of results, does that mean mouse and keyboard is in fact worse? Well no. Just in the same way the initial console trials were shown to be worse and we couldn't conclude that they were, it is the same for these mouse and keyboard results. All these tests have been part of a process to understand why you can get different results. We have now established why that is and know it to be related to three factors. The first is the random nature of the recoil in Battlefield 5 and the second and third are the chosen sample size and your choice of analysis. All three can influence the results you get and why different people could get different findings. It's been a long process to get here folks, but to establish this was important. Now finally, we can determine which is worse, if any. With the results we have here now, I feel we can draw a very good conclusion. So far, have you seen anything to suggest one is 25% greater or worse than the other? Personally, I can't say that I have, but I do have one final thing to show you and this should put this argument to rest. 
What does it look like when I show all 48 patterns for each layered on top of one another? Here they are. What do you think now? What looks worse? I put this to a vote on Twitter without telling them which recoil patterns belong to which platform. Here are the results along with some comments. It was very close between number one, which we know to be controller on console, and three, which is mouse and keyboard on PC. This was followed by no difference noticed and controller on PC coming in last. No one commented on why they thought three had the worst recoil, which was a little weird considering plenty dead on why they thought number one was, the controller on console. It was because of these outliers, those random patterns I've been talking about. These outliers within this controller on console pattern were only four of the 48 patterns I did on console. Not that many to be honest, just over 8% of the patterns were outliers. There were three outlier patterns with controller on PC and two with mouse and keyboard on PC. These outliers are a product of the random recoil in this game. That is why we get these from time to time and some can be much worse than others. I have added shapes which represent each pattern's current outline. Out of curiosity, let's see what the patterns and their shape look like with these outliers removed from the equation. What do you think now? Does it make a difference to you? They certainly form a far more similar shape to each other now, but is there any significant difference? A difference that changes which looks far worse or better compared to the others? I don't see it. I think I can now firmly say that if controller users had a 25% reduction before, it is no longer present. Even before removing the outlier patterns, they are still so similar and that is what I am basing my conclusion on. There is certainly no 25% difference here, even with the outliers present. The variation we are seeing is simply down to design, rather than an underlying bias of one purposely being made worse than the other. This would be the case if a multiplier was present. They are adding bias to the equation and that simply isn't there. But what about controller users having 50% lower initial recoil? What would you expect to see in this instance? Well, as we have already determined, overall recoil isn't different between platform or input device. This therefore should be easy to determine. Two weapons with the same rate of fire, but one having lower initial recoil will have smaller spaces between the bullets in its recoil pattern as it recoils less vertically when you start firing. If this multiplier exists, we should be seeing a big difference. The first few bullets in the mouse and keyboard patterns should be more spread out and higher up when compared to a controller pattern. You may be thinking to yourself, well, how does that work out? How can one recoil faster than the other and yet still both have the overall same maximum vertical recoil? There are two ways this is possible. The first is that the controller recoil must then play catch up. And at some point it recoils greater than that of the PC, potentially at the end of the pattern. Imagine the PC pattern is effectively flipped upside down. This means that if a controller player microburst or tap fires, they avoid all that accelerated vertical recoil as it is at the end of fully automatic fire, whilst PC players gets at the start and is therefore unavoidable to them. The second way is that mouse and keyboard hits the max recoil quicker and many of its bullets land at this max recoil. For example, it could hit the max recoil at around bullet 15 with the remaining five bullets also landing here, whilst on controller, it may be a case of only its final bullet landing at max recoil. In both instances, the vertical recoil is the same. I have explained this in a very simplistic way to help those not familiar with this type of thing understand. Technically speaking, at the point I have termed max recoil, this is not a real term, but is the point where the recoil decrease per bullet simply overpowers the recoil increase per bullet, resulting in no additional vertical recoil being applied. So now having explained how this is possible, you can probably guess what you're about to see here as you've already seen the recoil patterns. For this, we're going to look at the first four bullets of eight patterns from each test variant. These patterns were picked at random once again from the 48 available for each. Color doesn't matter here, so each will be color coded to stand out from the other. Here are the eight patterns. I'm going to put a red line through the middle of the fourth bullet in each mouse and keyboard pattern. These are the blue dots. These should be the ones that are well above the other controller patterns if this multiplier exists. To keep it short, this multiplier doesn't exist. They are pretty much all the same. Very little difference, let alone a 50% difference. But if you want the exact results, here they are. The controller on console platforms, which are represented by the orange dots, had its fourth bullet higher up in four of the eight instances. 
mouse and keyboard was three times and controller on PC was once. But the differences here are so minimal, There's this is just basically random, you know. I think over the case of like say 100 patterns, it would have worked out even in all of them. We have now established that neither of these multipliers are currently in effect in Battlefield 5 when using a controller. Whether they have been intentionally or unintentionally removed, we don't know. It's been a long video folks, I had hoped it would take in only two days, but it's literally taken me three weeks to make this thing. So let's see who made it to the end. Do you like Battlefield 4 movement or Battlefield 5 movement the best? And next video is actually going to be on the movement coming up in Battlefield 2042. Don't forget to like and subscribe folks. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again in the next one.